Hello there. So I wanted to do a little quick tip video on resetting your screens. And then also I just wanted to mention maybe a, a tip that might help you avoid having to reset your screens. Um, so the first, I, I mean, it really, when you have hand navigation, it's easy to mess up your screens if you are, if your hands are enabled um, unnecessarily. So your hands, you enable and disable your hands by taking either one of your hands Face your palm towards your face and take your thumb and your ring finger and, and then tap. And you see now my hands are enabled. They're colored and I have the, the little laser pointer things uh, coming out of my hands. And that allows me to do things like I can, uh, you know, unpin these screens. I can, uh, you know, bring a screen to the front. I can adjust the curvature. I can do things, you know, and, and now when the screens are unpinned, I'm sort of in a real vulnerable state, if you will, because I can accidentally move and resize if I didn't mean to. Um, that one of the keys is uh, a couple of things. First of all, have your fingers flailed whenever you do um, hand gestures and have your, your hands about a, a foot out in front of your face so the cameras on your headset can easily see your hands. If your, hand, your fingers are sort of together and your uh, palms are down, it's harder for the headset to interpret your, like here, I'm trying to pinch, I'm trying to pinch, you know, it's hard for the headset to, to get that. But if you, if you really flail your fingers and put your hands out in front, it's easier for the camera to see and it's more uh, accurate. And if, you know, let, things will happen more deliberately and less by accident. Um, so those are just some tips about how, you know, and then when you're not using your hands, um, disable them. So you don't accidentally see now I can do whatever I want and nothing happens. So anyway, that's, that's a tip that might, be, might help not get into a state like this that you're seeing in this picture right in front. Um, but if that happens, it happens to everybody. You accidentally like, whoop, and this screen got here and this screen got super big all of a sudden. And um, like you can accidentally get yourself into a weird state where you're actually inside the monitor because of the curvature and like crazy things happened, right? Um, I try two things. First thing I try is um, I'll take my hands um, up wide apart. I'll pinch my thumbs and index fingers like I'm going to resize, and then I'll try to drag together. Because doing that, I might grab one or the other of the screens, and then if you can get two of them and drag, now you're shrinking the size. So if you can shrink the size like this one, um, just kind of that motion, that hand shoo, shoo, like this, I managed to grab the screen and, you know, kind of get out of it. And once they're out and smaller, now they're manageable. You can move them around and you can, you know, get everything back the way you, you want to. But let's say you, you know, you got yourself into this weird sort of funky spot. I don't know. They're all janky. Um, uh, and you can't, you're doing that motion and it's not helping. In this case, like my hands are inside the monitor and it's like, ah, what's happening? Um, you can try to use your menus. Um, the, in one, the reset screens um, uh, option in the menu in particular. It's on the main menu. So you can um, open the main menu by taking your left hand and looking at it and index finger to thumb and it'll come up. Um, or you can you can also get to that by tapping your wrist and then on your quick menu you can hit menu here um, and so if you can touch and interact with the menu you're golden because all you have to do is hit settings here and then under app preferences um, you can hit this reset button and the reset button now as you can see it it shrank the the monitors kind of lined them up and pushed them away from you um, so now that they're pushed away, I can grab them and move them. And, um, you know, now I'm back to a state where I can easily move my screens around and it's, it's all good. Now, um, another thing I might say about the, um, the main menu is if when you pull up the menu, you can't touch it, um, because let me push it out. So somehow it accidentally got pushed away or intentionally got pushed away. Some people prefer the main menu farther because uh, they don't want to touch it with their fingers. They want to use the kind of laser pointer or whatever. But um, if that happens, um, again, flailed fingers, 
the whole top bar, you can grab pinch with your thumb and index finger to move that around. And if you move it towards you, you can move it closer or farther away. Or maybe what you can do is say, oh, if I go down here, now it's outside the monitor or whatever. And then I can, you know, do the click motion, thumb and index finger, and I can do the reset screens and then I can close my menu. And then, you know, we're back to a state now again where I can take the screens and I can push, push them where I want them and I can, um, I'm out of that crazy wonky state. So that happens to everybody and it's like super freaky when it happens, but you, you do have that reset, um, reset screens option that, you know, usually can help get you back to a state where you can um, kind of get your screens into, uh, you know, fixed basically to where now uh, you can see your screens again. So I hope that was helpful. Um, the reset screens button um, can really help. Uh, good luck and give a merch to try if you've never tried it before. Um, and have a great day. God bless you.